Well, hello there, friends. Today, a very, very simple recipe. One of my favorite ways to eat an onion. Creamed onion with rum raisins. They're amazing. Stay tuned. Remember, ring the bell, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to make those amazing cream onion. Well, hello there, friends. Let me show you how easy it is to make those pearl onion. I promise those are going to be the best pearl onion you've ever had in your life. I love them. Everybody in the class, in the restaurant, used to just love them. Oh, we got to have your pearl onion. I'm going to show you how to make it. Really easy. First, before I start talking about my mise en place, I'm going to get some butter going. And as soon as the butter is hot, butter. <laughs> yeah, butter. We got butter going on for you. Yeah. Look what happened. I touched the oven a little too, <laughs> too much. See, kids, remember, if it's too hot, don't touch it. <laughs> It happens even to somebody in the kitchen 50 years. Still happen every so often. So look, folks, I got butter going and I got pearl onion right here. Now, there's a lot of uh, misinformation out there online how to clean the pearl onion. You know, cut the root out, put them in boiling water, and then pop it out. It doesn't really work that good. It's easier to just peel them, okay? You just peel them, and, uh, and we're going to saute them. We're going we're gonna to saute them. Uh, get them beautiful golden brown, and then you, we're going to cook them in cream. Yeah. <laughs> cream and butter. It, it's the holidays, friends. If we can't have cream and butter during the holidays, when can we have cream and butter? Eh? So, not that I need an excuse for the holidays. Let me tell you the mise en place. I got ham in there. You don't cook with ham? Don't put it in there. You don't have to replace it. You know, people say to me, well, I can't have ham. What do I replace it with? Nothing. Don't worry, there's nothing you can replace ham with, okay? Those mushrooms, cream mushroom, you don't have to put the ham if you don't need it. A little bit of cold starch to thicken, some fresh chopped parsley, a little bit of brown sugar. We got um, maple balsamic vinegar. You don't have maple balsamic vinegar? Put a regular balsamic vinegar in here. But I highly recommend, if you've never tried a balsamic vinegar, friends, I recommend one time you get a bottle of the fig or the maple. I promise you, it's not nothing to do with the stuff you buy at the grocery store. First of all, ours is 18, 20 years old, which means it lost all of its acidity. So it's sweet enough to put on anything, a tomato mozzarella on a, anything. It's really delicious. If you've never tried it, I highly recommend. Look, look at the onion, friends. They're getting golden brown, right? We're going to put a little salt and pepper. They're so simple. This is the easiest recipe probably I'm going to make this holiday season. The secret of ingredient, believe it or not, friends, is my rum raisin. Those raisins have been marinated in rum for a couple of months. And, uh, and, and I put them in my stuffing. I put them in so many different recipes. I put them in creme brulee. I made this cheesecake. I don't know if you've ever, if you had my cheesecake yet. Maybe it hasn't been released yet, but it's going to be released soon. The um, eggnog cheesecake, and I make a sauce to, with a rum raisin in there. They're amazing. How do you make them? Well, I decided today I'm going to show you how to do it. It's really simple. Look, look, look. I want to show you, right? This is the raisin that I've been marinating. Look how big they are, right? And look how small they are when you first get them. You see, look. You see right there, friends? All right, so, so, so how do you get them like that? He, what I like to do, I like to take Captain Morgan Spice Rum. But put whatever you want in here, you know? I, I like Captain Morgan Spice Rum, and I put it right on top of it, just like this, you see? Cover them, and, and be generous, because they're going to drink a lot of that rum. Okay, you don't want to do it in Captain Morgan? You do it in, um, do it in simple syrup. I can't tell you to put juice in there, because you can't keep them for months, but if you put the... Uh, a simple syrup, you know, simple syrup is sugar water, right? And uh, you can put them in there and that will flop them up. If you forgot to do it and you need them, you can put them in a little glass bowl and put some, um, uh, you put them in a little glass bowl. Look, look, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at the caramelized onion. Look how beautiful they are, my friends. You see, I wanted the color. It was really important that we got a little color. We're gonna put a little more butter. We never have too much butter, huh? Eh? A little bit of butter. Now at this point, we're putting the, uh, the, the ham. We saute this a little bit. You're gonna be amazed how simple it is to do. Put a little bit of brown sugar. We don't need a lot of brown sugar. We're putting a little bit of that uh, maple vinegar. 
Remember, my vinegar is sweet. If your vinegar is not sweet, be careful. You may want to add a little bit more sugar. Right? And then we're going to put the cream. It's really that simple, my friends. I mean, you can't beat this recipe, friends. It's really, really, really simple. The ham I use, by the way, is a, 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 a black forest ham. You can use a tavern ham. You can use a good ham. Just a good ham. Slice it up in little cubes. And like I say, you can certainly skip it. And we're going to cook those, my friends, until they are tender. We're going to put maybe just a touch more cream. We're going to let them cook. You can cook them very low heat. You can put a cover. Probably going to take about 10, 15 minutes. So we're going to come back in 10, 15 minutes, and we'll finish them up. And uh, we'll put the raisins in there. But we don't need to put the raisin now because the raisins are nice and soft already. So we'll add them at the end. So we're going to let those cook for about 10, 15 minutes, and I'll finish them up, okay? So I'll be back as soon as they're done. Well, we are back, but friends, it took more than 15 minutes, as I thought. It took at least 25 minutes. So very low heat, however long it takes to cook, uh, however long it takes to make them soft. If you get the frozen one, uh, they're going to take a little while, too. The fresh one is going to take a little while. The only one that they're going to take real quick is the one you get in a jar, like Aunt Nelly. They're in water. They're wonderful. Uh, and they take minutes, okay? So you have to be careful, right? I added this little more, more cream uh, while it was cooking because they lost a little bit of cream. So it's up to you. So now it's too liquid, right? A little too liquid. So we're going to thicken it a little bit. But before we do that, we're going to put the raisins. Oh, yeah, baby. We're going to put them raisins. Look at them. Look at those raisins. You see, they got rum coming in. Remember, if you can't put the rum for whatever reason, uh, you, you put them in simple syrup. And that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. It's still going to be delicious. And if you simple syrup is in sugar water, that's all it is, right? Right? That's all it is. So look, friends. Now, you see, it's a little thin. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take a little bit of uh, a fresh parsley, chopped parsley. That's going to give us a nice flavor, but also a beautiful color. And then we're going to also put them uh, in a uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, uh, serving platter, right? You're going to put a little more parsley in there, right? So now, let me bring this up a little bit, and then I'm going to thicken them. Remember, cornstarch is half cornstarch, half water, but put as much as you need and very little. Be careful now, because cream and cornstarch, those two are having a love affair. Let me tell you, they love each other. So the minute you put a little bit of cornstarch in the cream, be very careful, because it's going to come to boil really, really quick. So look, we put a little bit, boiling, boiling, remember, cornstarch, you got to be boiling, right? Put a little bit of cornstarch, ooh, be careful, be careful, just in case you put too much, you get ready with a little bit more cream, okay? All right, that's it, that's it, don't put any more now. Don't put any more, friends. Look at this, look at this, look how beautiful they are, you see? Let me, when I tell you those are going to be the best cream on you you've ever had, I'm not kidding. And look, you know what's going to really be, make it even better? So don't tell anybody. Otherwise, they're going to say, oh, you know, I like your cream on you, but don't tell them. Don't put a little bit of butter in there, friends. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at this, my friends. When I tell you those are going to be the best cream on you you've ever had in your life, I'm not kidding. The best cream on you you've ever, ever had. Melt the butter. Remember, when you put the butter, well, you turn the heat off, right? You don't want the butter to separate it. Look at him. Look at this. You got to make it. Look, all of you that came to my restaurant and came to my school, you know what I'm talking about. And I bet you make them every year, don't you? Because those are really, really, really beautiful. Look at those. Look at this, my friends. We're going to put them right there. You see? We're going to put them right there in a nice platter. Those are beautiful little lasagna pan. We just got those in. I just love them. They're like uh, enough for a small serving. Uh, uh, and they are beautiful. Those would be perfect to make las individual lasagna. Oh, that's what I need. Look, I put them right in. Look, the whole thing fit in there. The whole thing just fit right in there, my friends. Those right there, I'm telling you, all you got to do now is put a little bit of uh, chopped parsley on top and put a little bit of uh, parsley right there on the corner and in the corner and wherever you want to put it. It doesn't really matter. Those are going to be the best cream onion you've ever had, and I'm going to check them. I'm going to check them. <laughs> Because that's my job. I love my job. I'm going to test them just like this, my friend. Yeah, oh, yeah, look at them. Look at it. They're falling apart. That's what we want. We want them to be nice and soft. Okay? And, uh, oh! 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 Don't do that. Mm. Mm. 
Oh my God. That was so hot. Just wait a little bit before you test them. My friends, I hope you liked it. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. If you like the recipe, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the bells. We look forward to seeing you for another fantastic show real soon.